Hello again, everybody. It's Harry Box for the Technical Trader at thetechtrader.com. It is Thursday, April the 5th. These are the charts of the day. Well, we had another pretty good solid follow through day, but tonight, obviously, futures are down sharply on new trade tariffs and uh, talk against Amazon and all kinds of goodies that um, the president has decided to put out there. So we'll have to deal with the volatility, and it looks like we may be down sharply at the opening at least tomorrow. But for now, I want to take a look at some of the stocks that did real well today on the long side. <coughs> Start or a couple that really intrigued me. Look at this pattern on AMC. Um, they are really uh, looking quite, to me, like in a bottoming process. If you look at the double top at 35.6 and then the big plunge over the course of about nine months to take it down towards the 11 range, <clears throat> 10 and 3 quarters 11 where it spiked and ran up and formed an inverse head and shoulders type pattern. <clears throat> you can see if we get through here and it stuck its head above it today, we have to bring it up for like Five days in a row now, the stock could very well extend. It probably will test a September uh, run up around 1765. So, another point, point and a quarter, we may get an important breakout that could get us to 21 and a half, 22, even 26.7 eventually. That's what I'd be looking for. I want to see if there's evidence of a breakout before I get too crazy, but it's something to watch. Our little apps did well today, popping um, about almost 10% on a million one. Volume picked up as it ran up a little bit. Notice that the redrawn channel line that I drew in. Um, off of these two lows in here parallel to those highs gives us a lot of real realistic look at a potential channel and with all the support in here this is a nice snapback some of you don't may not realize that it's actually technically been up four days in a row and at this point we're at resistance we get through here where the 50-day moving average and price resistance is this stock may very well retest the highs in the 250-60 zone and then you're off towards three oil stock and favorite crc broke its declining top line and 50-day moving average today with a pop of about a dollar sixty-four or nine point four percent, intriguing pattern that tells us we may see a quick run up to test the twenty and a half area. We get through that, we're looking at twenty-three twenty-five. Intercept. Well, this looks pretty interesting and close to what AMC looks like. Here's AMC, and here's ICPT. Both sporting inverse head and shoulder type patterns or bottoming patterns, and resistance up in this zone right where we are. If ICPT gets to seventy-five. The stock could very well be in the mid 80s before not too long, but my secondary target is up near 100. So keep an eye on this one. It could be in a 20, 30 point run if you can get a breakout. The volume today was excellent, 4.7 million. Big day for NETE up 33%. Now you can see the stock has a habit of pop running when it runs. When it spikes like that, it tends to follow through. We did it here for a few days. And if it gets any kind of follow through, uh, we may see the stock pop up and test 10 tomorrow. Gets through that. An immediate target, or should I say swing target, could be 1450. Pulse Electronics is thin, but it ran today and it ran big time, up 363 or 23%. The line was a half a million, doesn't sound like a lot, but it's the second biggest volume since September. And, if that, and, and notice that it closed right on resistance across this line. If we get up through that tomorrow, we'll be looking for 23. Well, stock REGI, the reason why I gave you this as a swing trade today, take a look. It looks to me like a massive rounding bottom or inverse head and shoulders with the left shoulder there, their head, and the right shoulder in there. It's a, it's a complex pattern, but bottom line is it's the highest level it reached since, um, let's call it almost five years, four and a half years. And so for me, I'm looking for a run to the 16 range, ultimately 19. Little RESN. Well, we put a swim at it a couple days ago. The stock popped today, it followed through nicely. I'm looking for a run to test four and a half and then five. We get through five, we're looking at a five and a half to six dollar stock. But for now, let's see if we get a follow through. The volume is excellent. Looks like the trend may have broken today if we get some sort of follow through. Skyline Homes popped yesterday. I almost put a swing on it, but it's pretty thin. Even today, I only trade 147,000. But to me, on a longer term basis, I'm looking at 30 and then maybe even as high as 40. Tendon Diabetes doing well. You can see that this swing trade has popped and has run for six out of seven in the last eight days at resistance here but if it extends my next target six and three quarters i'll be watching for that vcel after it popped yesterday big time and pulled back a little today i put a buy on it i think that if it does get through the double top right now about 11 50 60 the stock may run the retest quickly the 12 three quarter range but my target's 15 16 so we'll see if that happens and finally on the long side is veri which may reverse. Now, this stock's come down quite a bit, obviously, from when it exploded in September. 
uh, and it came all the way down from the 70s down towards 12. It looks like a little inverse head and shoulders as well, or at least some sort of basing pattern. Now today it got up near the 50 day and backed off a bit. If we can get through the 16, 17 zone, I'm looking for 21. A quick look at just a couple of bucks of shorts. I want to show you these three. Chupanian with a massive double top and big pull down. Today dropped another $1.23 or 4%. It's right on support. Should it break here, you can see a quick 24, 22, even 21 um, short term. It looks to me like the short term channel is broken. And with these negative technicals, we may see some more downside. Sanderson Farms the same. After the top was completed and the rally back failed that resistance, it came down and formed a wedge. That wedge broke today with a drop of 384, 3.2%. My target is now 100 and 89.90. And finally, YY doesn't look good. It broke the trend line. It's sitting here bear flagging. The technicals don't look good. If it takes out yesterday's low near the 96 and a half range, I'm looking for 85 ish. This, this could be quick and dirty. Stay tuned, folks. It's going to be interesting tomorrow for Hester and Seatbelts. Good night, everybody.